Welcome to Death Must Die, everybody. New early access roguelikes being described as Vampire Survivors meets Hades, which, after playing a test run myself, seems extremely accurate. Uh, that being said, I have played a little bit of it already, so we're kind of uh, skipping past the tutorialized bits and the initial narrative stuff, but if you're coming here for the narrative, you're in the wrong place. I'm excited, though, because this seems very fun and also uh, not too brain-breaking. So I'm all about it. When I initially booted it up, it launched me right into a run. And uh, in order to quit, I had to go back to this main hub area, or what I assume is this main hub area. So we'll uh, explore around here a little bit, I suppose, and then more than likely be thrust back into it pretty quickly. I should go back into the water already. All right. Down this way, I'm guessing. It certainly seems like the direction you want me to go. Our hourglass has brought you back. It has. Let me know how the audio balance is, by the way. Voice acted, too, which is fun. Step into the water once more, hero. We cannot follow you, but soon others will come to your aid. Horizontal Gamer! Thank you for the 13 months. Give him some bear hugs, please. And Joe Double. Death will stand trial for his transgressions. Thank you as well. Appreciate the subscriptions, y'all. He's got to be jacked. Yeah, no, of course. This is Hades-esque. All the lords or gods or whatever you want to call them have got to be shredded. All right, there we go. That was all the uh, hub interaction, I suppose, that we had to undergo. And this is the, the Vampire Survivors-esque section, although unlike Vampire Survivors, and a lot like uh, many Vampire Survivors, I want to say like clones or let's, let's call them inspired games, uh, you actually control your attack. What kind of legend would it be without some fire and mayhem? No kidding, Summer, goddess of fire. Who's going to offer us a blessing? So we can either vengeful strike for stronger attacks that apply burning. Whenever an enemy starts attacking you, there's a chance you shoot out a firebolt against your attacker. Or meteors fall from the skies, damaging enemies and burning the ground. I want to try this out. This sounds like a good defensive skill. I also haven't hit the Y button yet. Oh, it's just a way to see what other or what abilities you've accrued. You can also dash. I'm choosing to play on the controller, so that's the uh, R2 button or right trigger for me. You can see the uh, two dashes that we have up available. Above the health bar there. This ability seems really good. I'm har hardly even having to attack anymore. The flare's just wiping them out. I'm not sure if we have HP regen either. I don't think we do. Which I'm assuming means that there's going to be some sort of healing available on the field or some way to uh, regain HP at some point. Let's upgrade the flare. Burning enemies leave a fire where they die. Uh, let's do let's do vengeful strike. I suppose we'll keep building into that burning tree. I'm assuming. We'll probably run into some other... I'm just going to call them gods, honestly. I don't, I don't know if I necessarily need to fear making such a direct comparison when it's pretty obvious what the inspirations are here. But, uh... Yeah, I'm assuming that we'll see some other gods pretty shortly. And then this guy looks like he wants to drop us some gear, which is another very interesting... Uh, element of this. Oh, and also I'm just now realizing apparently the gear is persistent? Because I got this one from my very short, like, four minute run when I was just testing this out last night. So yeah, this carried over from that. And we also have a curing girdle, which is a fun name for an item. But it's also unfortunately another waste item. Let's see. Oh, this is a heal on level up, which is pretty good. And level ups will probably happen pretty frequently, so that might not be a bad idea. It is heavy, which I'm guessing is not ideal for us. I'm going to go ahead and equip this here. 
got 4% damage reduction from our armor. There's a lot of stats going on. And there we go, right away. Let's see. Your dash leaves a path of fire. It's already up to an add-up level. That seems pretty decent. It's hopefully going to make me want to dash a little bit more frequently as well. Oh my god, yeah, look at that. Just create that giant wall of fire and have him walk right on through it. I hardly even have to attack at all anymore. I like that. Alright, so I'm assuming... I honestly have no idea, but... Oh, okay, hold on a second. We got a buddy that just arrived here with us. He's got a nice big area of effect with that hammer swing, so... I suppose we're gonna have to make sure we keep a dash available. Although we might just burn to death here, actually. Yeah, there we go. See you later, buddy. There's a chest. Hero, I Ooh. tasked you with defeating death. For this, I reward you with my powers. Now obey. Another shredded lord bestows blessings upon us. Krom, god of conquest. Let's see here. Your attacks have a chance... To create a chain that rotates around you for a limited time, damaging, rupturing, and knockbacking enemies. Enemies you hit shoot out rupturing shurikens. Or you deal more damage to enemy barriers. Yeah, I like the, uh... I like the shurikens. That seems really, really good. Especially if they bleed or deal some sort of damage over time. Yeah, there we go. Krom, god of no carbs. Very good. I can't believe it's not 80s. I, I, I feel free to indulge in these jokes. Yes, the it's it's very clear where they got their inspiration from. I don't think they would mind the comparisons all that much. New enemy. That is a uh, that's a steel wall with a face. The path to victory is littered with the fallen. Amen, brother. Hmm. You deal more damage to enemy barriers. I can't imagine that being the best choice in any situation. It's like, here's an apple, here's a banana, here's a pile of dog poop. You want the dog poop? Is that what you want? You big dummy. I'm going to seem real ignorant when that ends up being the best ability in the game. And I just don't understand why right now. And I'm really excited for that moment. I just wanted to tee it up as best as possible. Dog poop can grow more apples. That's that's such a gamer way to approach it. That's That's absolutely born of like... A significant amount of time spent in Stardew Valley or Harvest Moon. This this man farms. I respect that. Because you're absolutely right. What the hell is this? I'm being boxed in. Oh, I turned on the auto attack on accident there, by the way. That's what... That's why my dude just kept on swinging. That's a lot of slimes all of a sudden. Okay, I think they're explosive. Have we entered the the bone zone? I suppose I ought to go ahead and try to pick up all those uh, experience orbs as well. And I feel like we at least have a pretty decent uh, way to deal with this. Every few attack hits, you breathe fire that damages and burns enemies in front of you. Your spell damage is increased. That's pretty good. I think I like the flare upgrade, though. I was thinking about getting that earlier. We're just getting boxed the hell in, dude. Okay, yep. And then we're just going to keep on exploding here. I feel like I should, uh... I'm, I'm going to die. Yep. I got the bear optimal going on. This is, uh, yep. Felt a little scripted. <laughs> Professor DeBeal, welcome back. Thank you for the 14 months. Good to have you. Appreciate it. All right, then. 
That was unfortunate. Guess I guess I died. Guess I'll die, shrug. Stash unlocked. So we still have all of the items I've gotten so far. We got the one that we equipped, and then the other two belts that I got from before. Which is interesting. Oh, that looks like the stash. Okay, so I can probably put the items that we've acquired in there. Gotcha. We also seem to have 96 monies. And whatever this is, the item in the top left of that right side menu. Little silver spiky ball thing. Oh, we're just going right back in. Okay. Nobody even wants to talk to me, man. I'm not worth the conversation yet. Is this just a PC game? It is out in early access, which to the best of my knowledge means it is indeed PC exclusive for now, but don't quote me on that. A better way of answering that question would have been, I don't know. Would have been a little more helpful. Ah, a mortal with courage. Let's see if you're worth more than the dirt you tread on. God damn, dude. Ooh, your attacks become stronger and knock back enemies. Welcome to the bear pile. That can't that can't be bad, right? And again, that made me feel as though I were just welcoming the likelihood of being incorrect. Banger, by the way. Also, bear hugs, please, for the brand new member of the pile, Keevan Stavik. Hope I got close on that one. Thank you very much. Let him feel the love, please, from the pile. Brand new member, appreciate your support. Chaos would love this. Oh, if only they could see it. Chaos. Okay, now we're just now we're just being derivative. Uh, let's see. You're like the first person to say it right the first time. Let's go. Big W for bear. I'm going to try the meteor shower. That also seems like it should be pretty good. Yeah, no, just giant fireballs raining down from the sky. I think I might like that. It is a cool art style, isn't it, Chill? Very well done pixel art. Destroy enemy. Okay, I got through, uh, I got like halfway through this train of thought uh, during our first run. I am assuming that there is actually somewhere that I want to go here. I don't know that for a fact. Even stronger attacks or blades. Let's do blades. And uh, don't tell me if you know as well, so we can preserve the surprise, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to, like... Head in a particular direction here, I think, if I can. Seven armor, plus 180 shard pull area. Which I'm assuming is... These, uh, green things. Which is pretty good. So I'm finding it's actually pretty easy to leave these behind as you can see I keep thinking the blade is trying to hit me too oh nice I didn't even realize that it's kind of easy to um to miss some of the uh, things on the field as well I've run across like a little field of clovers or not even a field like a little bushel of them basically and uh, almost missed it I gotta keep an eye out for that kind of stuff as we're going here. All right, so clearly, wanna take him down. Rampaging strike available again. Your attack hits have a chance to create a chain that rotates around you. Let's go for the chains of war too. I feel like just the more junk we have, the better. Hey, PK. You've hey, been welcome. enlisting a lot of help from the others, haven't you? I bet he wouldn't expect his own tools against him though. Mind if I join? Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm Mort, Death's daughter. But I'd really like to see him defeated, nonetheless. 
personal reasons. Yeah, I'm glad your name isn't Bleak Goddess. I was gonna give him a little bit of a little bit of shit for not the most inspired names for the characters here. You are luckier. Yeah, there's no way that's gonna be bad. You raise skeletons when you kill a number of enemies. Skeletons raised from cursed enemies last longer. Every few attack hits shoot out sickles. They deal damage equal to a percentage of your attack damage and apply your attack statuses. I'm gonna go with luck. Objectively the best stat in any game ever. I'm guessing the little green dots on the radar are points of interest. Oh, yeah, there's a little orange dot here too. Right, we can probably, okay, okay. Revision breastplate of perpetuation. 10 armor. 0.8% spell duration and one reroll dice. Ooh. Reroll dice, huh? Yeah, it's very. It's very Hades meets very vampire survivors, along with a little bit of like kind of Diablo going on, I feel like. I have not played a lot of Diablo, to be fair, but with just the way that the equipment is working and just like, you know, the 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 Defeating of hordes. Plus 9% pickups. Nice. Okay, so yeah, clearly I want to try to make my way to those points of interest more frequently. Also should probably be, you know, like, killing enemies. Peace of mind. What the heck? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take out some of these guys. Animations of Diablo-esque as well. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Again, it's not that there's necessarily anything wrong with that. It's just, you know, can't help but observe that it is certainly taking a lot of inspiration. Okay, so this is, this is the death zone. I feel like we got a pretty decent build for it this time, although they are gonna be very explosive boys. So we gotta keep a dash available through this whole thing, I think. Your dash damages and knocks back enemies seems really, really good right now. Let's just go ahead and keep them bunched up. This is kind of working, isn't it? It's obviously gonna be some stragglers getting through the other side, but... This is kind of effective. Just keep circle strafing. If it ain't broke, don't change it. Ow. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Just keeps getting smaller and smaller. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. I feel like eventually we might be freed. Nice. Well, fitting to die to the... the bone zone analog there the first time, I guess. Uh, let's see. Chains of War... The area and duration upgrades seems pretty worthwhile. Oh, increase the blade count. Yeah, never mind. How you doing, bud? You running away? Little baby? Little scared? You got a big chain. I don't like it. Oh, he just spawns boys, huh? You just, you just be spawning dudes? I don't like that. You come back over here. You get, you get right here by me, buddy. Now, I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and defeat you so easily. If you don't mind. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, pal. You didn't drop any gear? I thought for sure that dude would drop gear. Oh, well. More luck? Double the luck bonus? Chance to spawns a weak experience shard. Cursed enemies have a higher chance of dropping experience shards. I mean, that seems pretty good, actually. And this is going to have diminishing returns the later we get it, I feel like. But right now, that seems like a good idea. More XP. Ow. Bears in his emo high school phase whipping his giant wallet chain around. I never had that phase. I did wear a little chain for a while as a kid, but that was when I was in my, like, uh, when I was, like, 13 and just discovering rap music for the first time, and I was, like, trying to be a gangster. I had a goddamn FUBU tracksuit. Light blue FUBU tracksuit. 
that I wore regularly. Now, I'm not much of an accessory guy these days. Nor was I really back then. It was mostly just the chain. God, I hope there's photos. Yeah, I feel like somebody must have had the presence of mind to document it in the moment. Uh, that's a pretty substantial damage increase for the blades, I guess. That sounds bitchin'. I, I believed firmly at the time that it was. I don't know if uh, on reflection today I would feel the same way, but... We can just choose to believe as a group that... Oh my god, what the hell? Oh shit. Dark Souls-esque boss fight? Okay, interesting. This is pretty dope, actually. When did you get the monocle? Oh, that was always a part of it, yeah. You can't imagine that ensemble without the monocle, right? They're gonna box me in again. Look at these MFers. I just, I mean, in typical Bear Taffy fashion, I can't help but uh, spread the damage out completely evenly between the two of them. Gotta keep a dash up. Gotta keep a dash up. There goes one. Now isn't this Hello. curious? Mo mo you are so Moira intertwined Moira? with time itself that it's really hard to get a read on your fate, hero. Oh, are these like the... These look like the, the, the three furies. Will you fail? Or succeed? Right. Or maybe it'll be one of the others. The three sisters. Oh, Just a sorry. different version. They haven't arrived for you yet. But it would be a shame to see you fail. Perhaps we could fudge the numbers a little. Is this Times New Roman? You attack faster. Your attacks have a chance to deal 300% damage or pickups drop more often. These all seem pretty good. Curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat, but it benefited the bear. Ooh, we also have the magnetic gauntlets of ignoring. And then normal magnetic gauntlets. Combust when you kill a number of burning enemies, an explosion damages and knocks back nearby enemies. I feel, I feel like I don't have enough burning to make that be very effective. Breath of Fire could help that. All right, let's check our gear real quick. We got the one with seven armor, 180 whole area, which this is already way better than that, so. There we go. Is there a way to just equip them? Like, is there a button that I can hit? When I hit equip, it just holds it. I mean, it's such a small thing. I'm just wondering if there's a faster way to snap things into their slots. Careful messing with your fate, mortal. You are but men. Gods dictate your paths, not you, or those despicable know-it-alls. Hmm. It's really getting me to want to try Warpack just out of curiosity. I think I'll go Shurikens again. All right, let's see if we can find another couple of points of interest on the map here. Also, some healing would be nice. Still, I feel I have yet to find a way to do that, although... Oh, there we go. Bloodthirst for more attack damage. Nice. Oh, we got the stone of collecting. Space warps around you. Oh, we got a little magnet for the X, uh, XP warps here. Nice. I'm gonna get this guy. Hold on. Stop it. That's good. I guess it's not guaranteed that they're gonna drop anything of extreme value. I gotta destroy these things too. I gotta imagine the gold's good for something. You feel no harm can come to you. Invulnerability? That's a pretty good interactable. You can hit projectiles to cancel them. Oh, really nice. I like that. I mean, I, I feel like I gotta go with the luck. I don't know how much that's actually helped me so far, but... 
It makes me feel better. Isn't, isn't that ultimately all that matters? Holy shit, they're fast. Okay. Oh boy, this got a little, a little more intense. We, we we hit the risk of rain style difficulty increase marker. Powerful katana of alacrity. 33 to 45 damage. Plus 4% spell speeds, one banish dice. Night only. Okay. Significant damage increase. Nice. I'll take it. I'm gonna be real goddamn careful now, though. See if we can get some of these things. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Plus three max life. At least a little bit of healing from that. Got this pawn thing, another peace of mind. Do, 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 Yet another bonfire. Whatever that is, more pickups. Yeah, at this point, I feel like I actually have enough stuff dealing damage to maybe just do a little bit of wandering and see what I can find. Which I love that that's an additional element of this game. Let's go with additional attack area. I mean, either of these is pretty good right now. Maybe mountainous might. I feel like that might be more helpful. I did leave a chest behind, didn't I? Why I'm doing this? Do we need a reason to set things on fire now, too? God, no. Oh, there's the flare again. Yeah, let's do that. Speaking of passive damage, ow! Crap. Oh my god, why am I doing that? Even luckier. He's gotta be doing something. It might as well be PK. At this point, with the similarities. Nothing from the fallen hero. Well, he deserved to die then. That he's not gonna benefit my run posthumously. Ooh, another mountainous might. All right. Oh, I think that's that's got to be making the blades bigger, right? Yeah, there we go. That's pretty sick. That makes me happy. And then a little more luck, sure. There's that clover uh, bundle I was referring to earlier. Bushel. That's the word I used. Let's do a little bit of murder. Get some experience real quick. Oh boy. Oh boy. There he goes. Man, those spells are doing some serious damage now. Okay, hi. Oh my god, what the fuck? Spawn ravens that attack enemies applying cursed. When you kill an enemy, oh, all right, yeah, that's the execution. Yeah, let's get some ravens going, sure. There they are. Oh, that goddamn slimes, man. That's a lot of these guys. That's too many slimes. Owie. Don't kill me. I don't want to die yet. Oh, I was getting so good at finding stuff. Are you trying to blow me up? Blow up my spot? Come on now. There we go. When an enemy dies from cursed, gain permanent damage. Ooh. Necromancy could also be pretty helpful here. I like that. I don't know how many die or enemies are dying from cursed in here, but it's probably gonna add up pretty quick. Owie. Oh, okay. Got the heart there. That was pretty timely. 
That thing fell, thankfully, too. Okay. Oh, well, we got different enemies coming in here now, and I am at bare optimal. Those guys attack very quickly. I'm gonna keep my dash available. Ah, oh, yeah, alright, they got me. Yeah, that was getting tough. This is really good for us, yeah. I mean, it is, it's, 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 we have Hades at home, but it has enough going on to differentiate it, I think. At least so far. Yeah, this is, this is good. I'm having fun. This has got boobs, so, you know. Like, very small pixel boobs, but, you know, I'm not complaining. I mean, the art is actually fantastic. This gives me a Yotun vibe. Oh, yeah, big time. Expect a living <laughs> I'm no guardian, just went out for some fresh air. I was told to expect others. I suspect you are the first to come. First to come? What are you talking about? It might take me a while to explain everything. Thank God he didn't make me deal with it. So you want me to go down there with the hourglass? Only one can wield it. Good luck. Scriveners. Those who scriv. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll try a new character. Oh, so then with the stash, right, we could grab her a belt. Oh, this is bound. Binds unequip. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, she cannot equip heavy stuff either, so I suppose we'll just transfer those over. Cool. This might be the first Vampire Survivors like I buy in a long time. It's the first one I've played in a long time. Yeah, it's the first one that's been interesting enough for me to want to get back into the formula. All right. First time with the Sorceress. She be hucking them balls. Gets slowed down pretty significantly when she's doing it. I say OE to it, though. I understand about indecision. Now at least I got a much better idea of how to spend the uh, early time. Me. Your attack shoots more projectiles that knock back enemies. Sure. I, I didn't put that together in my head. I assumed that it was going to be, like, additional, not primary projectiles, but that is very much just more fireballs, which, oh my god. Feel that? New goddess. The heart-stopping bite of frost. The captivating embrace of cold. I am winter, and I've come to enchant this bitter place with my beauty. Your dash throws ice shards that deal damage and apply shield. Every few attacks, or shield. <laughs> no, shield is what you are when you watch my sponsored streams. Every few attacks, a frost ring spawns from you that freezes, or frost zones spawn at random that damage and chill enemies. Let's go with the frost ring. 
I think that was her name, yeah, Mommy. That's what I saw anyway. This soundtrack's kind of bumping. I don't know why I'm saying it with, like, hesitation. I feel like I'm, like, reserved in my opinion of this because I, I don't want to give it as much credit as I should because it is so derivative. But, like, I keep also trying to suggest that that's not necessarily a bad thing. It does leave kind of a weird taste in my mouth because I'm like, y'all, you, you, you know what you're doing. We all played Hades, but at the same time, like... All games are derivative of the previously made game. So like, it's, it's, it's just how it works. So if I can get over that. Oh, bearing the gifts of my I'm sister. I'm Okay, fine. Ba -da -ba -ba I guess you need to cool off from time to time. You can't be searing hot like me all the time. Uh, like, like even the writing, even the interactions, like it's all, it's, it's all very, very similar, but that's, it's not it's good as a result because we know that it was good when Hades did it. Uh let's see. Let's go with the meteor shower again. I kinda like the breath of fire, actually. I will do, do that. Rather have a good copy than a bad original. Yeah, honestly, that, that checks out for me too. Yeah, that'll work. Wow, plus nine life, plus three evasion. That's pretty damn good. Somehow less horny. Yeah, well, give it time. Sure, they'll find a way. All right, I'm starting to really like her. I feel like the first upgrade that we got was, like, unbelievably good. Hmm. A few expert choices here. Uh... I mean, this would be really good. I feel like we can get more burning stuff and make make that a lot better. I'm also wondering whether or not the fireball is something that makes them die from burning, although it doesn't look like that's the case, necessarily. Either way, that's probably going to be we pretty helpful later. We ourselves last time. I Where know. I figured that out. Lo, the sleeping one, spins the strings of life. Lachi measures them and all that boring Oh, wait, no, stuff. I didn't. I thought well, you were the Furies. I, Isa, snip, snip with the scissors when the time comes. No, the, this is the... This is their version of the... Like, of the old witch ladies from... Um, from Hercules. The ones that, like, control the strings of time or whatever it is. It's been a while since I saw them. <laughs> I have the most fun job. It does get tiring to see them all go, though. Always, forever, and ever. But maybe you'll put an end to that. Who knows? Oh, is that what the Hades sisters are supposed to represent as well? Scissor sisters. Uh -huh. No, those are different? Okay. Your attacks shoot more projectiles, cover less area, significantly less area. The Furies are punishers, okay. You gain more dice to alter your god offers. I don't feel like I've even used those yet. I feel like I got some dice before, but I didn't see where those are. There's probably some button to reroll at some point. More projectiles, man. I assume that the area is the area of the explosion from the fireball itself. That seems like it's not too big of a problem. All right, let's go find some POIs. Yeah, it honestly doesn't look that much different either way, whether it's the width of the actual thing or the uh, explosion or even like the distance between the fireballs. I don't know. It make a huge difference regardless. Are the projectiles smaller? Okay, well that that's probably it then. Can't really tell. Plus 10% heals. Nice. I feel like 
like I'm missing something with that. So that's the second time now that we've interacted with it and nothing's happened. Maybe with that as well. Maybe we have to, like, find certain items or maybe interact with them in a certain order or something like that. All right, back to Slimeville. Maybe she'll be able to deal with it a little bit more effectively, but I don't know. I feel like we had a pretty good approach to it last time with the other guy. Yeah, the more you want to do that, the better. We'll take all those icy explosions, please. All right. Definitely feel like I've got a better approach to this, at least. That'll help a lot. Get some HP on the field. Gifted by Winter herself. So you intend to siege rather than fight openly? Cowardice. Let me show you how a real warrior does it. Hmm. No more projectiles from Rampaging Strike, but I feel like if we keep leveling this up, it might give us more later. Plus, you know. Bigger number, better bear. We all know that. More damage, please. That's going to be another level pretty quickly here, isn't it? Show enough. Immobilized enemies take plus 60% more damage. Your spell area increases. Ooh. Well, I mean, this is like one of our very few spells, and we can just make this one significantly bigger. Hmm. Well, this would presumably affect more stuff later on. Let's just go for that. Let's pick the worst option, assuming it'll work out later. Because I'm, cause I'm dumb. Because I'm real dumb. I'm just stupid. That's... I don't have to overthink it. I sure don't. Oh, boy. Yeah, I managed to go without a... You didn't hit for a little while there. Next upgrade, fluffy pillows. A comfy sweater. Nap time. I'm actually wearing my, uh, well, I was. I was wearing my nice little slippers today. It felt like a slippers day. It's getting cold, man. I'm not ready for this Utah winter. But it's happening. It's coming. Still getting some sunshine every now and then, but those long gray days, not even long gray days, short gray days. Looming ominously. Again with the why? I've always helped out mortals. Who do you think gave them fire? It seems kind of meh. Trail of fire, though. Should absolutely leave more burning enemies on the field and then leave more burning zones on the field and then more dead boys will spawn from that repeat loop infinitely. Then watch as the entire ground burns. Speaking of comfy, 10th anniversary bear plush. I suppose... We could still make that a thing, couldn't we? I think, honestly, though, that the uh, the next time we do a plushie with those guys, it will probably be a, a, a Chubbs plushie. Bear Chubbs in chat. Because I miss my boy, and I want to... I want to immortalize him even more than I already have. Plus, a Bear Chubbs plushie would be so cute. Such a cute little bud. Oh yeah, this again. All right, we're just gonna burn them to death. I kinda wanna try to focus on one. Let's focus on this guy. The blue dude. It'll make it a lot easier if there's only one of them. Oh, I can't help but hit the other guy at the same time. 
close. Almost, almost. Shit, there we go. Bear holding chubs plushie. Ooh, that is pretty cute. Even more spell area. We could just take this now. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Then we can have both. More spell damage, more shard pull area, more banish dice. Or one banish dice, I guess. See ya. Big Fig Newton. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome on back. Good to have you. You gain attack speed for each ruptured enemy. I mean, this one says master. I'm going to take that. Magnetic gauntlets of streetwise. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Fig. Give a few more bear hugs, please. Thanks for the subscription. Thank you for the support. Welcome back. All right. Off we go again. Boss defeated. Build looking decent. Half HP. Just like we like it. There's the prime. There's Wayne finally catching up. I want another level. Give me that level up. Or don't... Well, don't... Don't kill me, though. I don't want to die. I just want to... Get better. Yeah, let's do the blight, too. See how that goes. We do have the additional area of effect for that, so it's already going to be a little bigger. I really shouldn't stop firing fireballs. Hasten footwear of elusiveness. Five evasion plus 12. Ooh, movement speed. Yeah. That's really good. Did my attack speed just go up as well from that? A bright green energy pulses through the tree's rotting bark. Hmm. Gain less experience, gain more spell damage and spell area. You know what? Yeah. I kind of want to go lose all luck and gain plus two spell projectiles. So I did. I did do that. I just did that. Really thought that would give me more fireballs. Pretty much the only reason I did it. Crap. Space warps around you. Ooh, yeah, there we go. We need to collect all those shards I left behind just now. All right, we got to go find somewhere to heal up. Ooh, very nice to have this amount of damage for these guys, apparently. I think the blue bars are somehow different HP. Chains of War again. I do have a reroll slash banish die here. Oh, we can banish one of them. Let's get rid of War Pact. Oh, that's all that does. Okay. Presumably, though, that's going to be taken out of the item pool now. So that should be pretty helpful. It's like making your deck smaller. Get a better chance of getting the good stuff. Blue might be barrier. Oh, yeah. That's probably it, isn't it? I don't like these guys. I don't like these enemies. They're too fast. Make me scared. Oh, got an achievement. Cool. You gain attack damage for each immobilized enemy. Yeah. Yeah, because we're chilling all kinds of fools out here. That will be a significant boost. B-A-E-R barrier. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's just assumed. Take that for granted these days. You attack faster. More projectiles. Coat the screen in fireballs. I will not rest until each shot creates an imperceptible red orb on the screen. The giant mashup of furious fireballs. 
Eh, I should probably go ahead and pick those up. Never know. Eh, I think I'd rather have the others. Owie, don't kill, don't murder. Not before I'm able to go find some healing. Not that I anticipate that, but at least let me try. Oh my god. How do we get so strong? I think that uh, immobilization attack bonus is pretty huge. Blades again? Yeah. Hey, there's a heal. Noise. Plus 4% spell damage, sick. Ooh, I think the projectile increase is affecting the uh, blades as well. The demon is laughing at you, mocking you. Less adept and expert offers, plus 4% master offers, or gain plus 20% damage against enemies above 50% life. Yep. That one doesn't have a drawback. So I'm going to take it. I like when they're just good. What do you got? What do you got? More experience. Oh my god, significantly more experience. Holy shit. That seems pretty good. This seems pretty bad. Ooh, I heal. Oh my god, I found a healing thing. They exist. I can't believe it. All right, so this is terrifying, obviously. Oh, boy. Your spell area is increased. When you kill a frozen or chill immune enemy, there's a higher chance it drops an item. Huh. Leave a trail of frost wherever you go that chills enemies. That does seem really good, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a good point. Look at them big ass numbers. Whatever that is. Another heal. Oh my god. We are feeling better all of a sudden. Okay. Plus 8% attack damage. Sure. Oh yeah. That's that path of frost made an instant massive difference. Stone of Collecting. Ooh, we're gonna get all those shards now, too. Hell yeah. Yeah, the whip thing's helping a lot, isn't it? And we got a little luck back. The chill, the freeze. This is all working. More spell duration, you wish to know too. my purpose? To hell with you. A mortal who begs the gods is no more than a worm below their feet. For someone that hates my guts, he sure is talking to me a lot. Enemies you hit shoot out rupturing shurikens, increase the projectile count, and the projectiles pierce. Yup. Hmm. More projectiles. Plus 30 gold? I don't know if I've figured out what that's for yet. Gold is currency, bear. Oh, thanks. Now I see. Ooh, the necromancer are fun. Would you mind actually if instead of us fighting real quick, I just went and got these things that are close by? Gloves. More pole area and reroll dice. Yeah, those are worse. Downgrade. No thanks.
Why do you want to kill death? Because the game told me to. I want to kill death murder style. Death's going to die so hard when I kill it. It'll be dead. You've never seen such a non-alive being. Where'd this dude go? Oh, there he is. Disappeared for a sec. The hunt never stops. Ooh, plus 20 movement speed. Yeah. I'm gonna be zipping around, dude. Can you stop, stop disappearing. Can't keep track of this guy. Increased fire duration. Meteor shower to increase the amount of burning enemies, possibly. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh my god. No, oh my god. Hello. I need to find another heal. Holy shit. Wow. That thing just slaughtered me. I think that dealt like 25 damage in a single hit. Oh man, the shurikens were doing work for us there. That was a big shot, man. Jeez. Okay, cool. Good run. Good try. Good try. And back. Oh, the shop's finally been unlocked. Sick. Time to spin that gold. Got all these gods helping you down there, huh? You know, I'm something of a god myself. I don't know how I feel about the... smileys in the text, but... I gotta give it to him for being unique. Why don't you bring me some of Death's stolen goods and I'll lend a hand too. Or a sword. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought that was a gold item for some reason. Now it's just the gold cost. More expert offers. Plus two heal on level up. Can't equip that though. Hmm. A little bit more luck. I think I'll grab that. How much gold do we have? 890, damn. Nice. That is loud. Uh, let's go with... Plus 5% more master offers is pretty nice. I'm going to pick that up too, and then... I think the knight already has a pretty decent sword. Get that for him as well. Okay. Sick. What's that? Oh, cool. Okay. You gain plus 8% spell damage every three levels. Nice. Equip new gear. Actually, I want to do the... Uh... Nah, we'll do that. We'll take the luck. Give it the circlet. And... Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Sweet. Alright, feeling a lot better about things now. I feel like I might be able to... push this one quite a ways. Let's make it happen. I have a lot more incentive to uh, go for the gold here, too. More pickups. Sick. Ups. More luck right away. All right, I got the opposite of last run. All the luck. Yeah, going back down to that one fireball is like a risk of rain syndrome. Lost all the items back to square one. More pickups yet again, though. Okay, this is a good start. Oh, I'm assuming you mean a lucky sofa. Yeah, we'll almost certainly do a lucky run later. Right after death dies. Right after I've dealt some dying to death. Even more luck. Wow, okay. I'm going to be sitting at, uh, what we've got here, plus 12%. That seems pretty damn good. I 
I really like this soundtrack. It's got kind of like a... Uh... What am I thinking of when I, when I hear this guitar play? It's like, it's like space western. Kind of. I want to say Tharsis, but that doesn't feel right. Remember that without me, you are nothing. Okay. Let's get the rampage, or yeah, rampaging strike again. This is such a massive improvement to her. Oh, hi. Hi. That it? All right, cool. Uh, flare again. Makes me think a little bit of nuclear throne. Yeah, I can hear that. Hey, pyramid. Yeah, I really like this so far too. It's pretty fun. I'm digging it. Hi again. Hey you. I've seen you in a minute. Let's see. Every few attack hits, shoot out sickles that deal damage equal to a percentage of your attack damage to apply your attack statuses. Let's try that. Oh, it makes you think of Bastion. Yeah, I can hear that too, for sure. Another vigorous belt. Kind of doubting that's going to be of any value to us here. Yeah, that's not great. Why'd you bring this garbage into your realm? Is she dissing the gray item? I like that a lot, if that's the case. You infuriate me, mortal. We'll try having a less predictable attack, bitch. He deserved that. Spawn ravens that attack enemies applying cursed at the master level? Or your dash drains enemies, healing you if you're below a certain life threshold. Ooh. Uh, only up to 30%, but that's probably pretty good. I think I'm going to thank myself later on for taking that. Yeah, Master Raven was tempting, but I think that the lifesteal of the Master Rank is even better. Not to mention it's going to continuously deal damage even if we're not at that threshold. Help you? Well, we're not exactly helping you. It's your own fate. You're the one sowing it. We're just... Lending an eye, if you will. Uh-huh. Splinter again? Sure. Fine with me. All right, let's go find some more goodies. See what we can get. More spell area. Hey, J-Rod. More spell area. Nothing. Well, all right then. Do, 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 do. You can auto attack, by the way, which is what I'm doing now, and it's honestly kind of convenient sometimes. And plays, you know, a lot more like a typical Vampire Survivors-esque experience. Uh, more movement speed again? Yeah. The chance to recharge a dash does seem pretty good, but... Movement speed is king in these games, in my opinion. A little more max life, nice. I think the slime phase is coming up any second here. Think of this, in fact, right now. Learner's Ring. More adept offers. That's gonna be significantly better. I don't want to lose the luck, though. Eh, I think we'll keep. Okay, okay. Hey, now, hey, now. Just chill out. Go ahead and 
arrive in an orderly fashion that I might explode you accordingly. There we go. Oh, I'm just now noticing the, uh, the meters down at the bottom middle area, the, the little yellow bars refilling by the character's profile picture. Hmm. That's good visual information. Even more luck. Ooh, increase the life link. Adds an additional link there. You know what? Yeah. Let's keep going with that. That's honestly kind of making me wish I had taken the dash recharge ability too, but... We'll be alright. Morning, Hyper. Alright, this is the one. This is the one where we find the thing on the map that we're supposed to find. That I'm astu still assuming is there. Because I want it to be. Because I, I feel like the game would be better if that were the case. More adept offers, yes. More healing is tempting, but I feel like we're going to be having plenty of healing when we actually need it. Oh, there's one of these dudes too. Hold on. Where are you going? How's it going over here? You, you trying to trying to deal range damage? I don't really like that. Shurikens have been pretty damn good for us. We'll go ahead and take those again. Man, we are leveling really quickly right now. I almost want to get down below the threshold just to see how quickly we're going to heal up from it, but... I'm sure I won't need to do that intentionally before I know it. Even more luck, sick. Even more luck? Oh, what's that? Wow, 21.6% more adept. Adept, that adept. Better offers. Jade Llama Statue. Llamas are the greatest warriors. Huh. More expert offers. Anger the Llama God. I can't not do that. We have to see what that does. All right, more expert offers seems pretty good too. Cracked Jade Llama is very good. Man, that lifesteal is significant damage. Uh, meteor shower? Sure. The llama god better be an actual llama. Yeah, if I don't invoke the wrath of a literal llama by doing that, it clearly wasn't worth it. Additional spell area, sick. It's David Spade. Hey, I actually found something in there, nice. Can't use it, but you know, that's cool. Wow, look at how much damage we're dealing to these guys. That lifesteal in particular, that is draining them. Holy shit. Master level of that is very clearly really strong. My god, they're already dead. You would allow this snake to slither into your ear and accept her favor? The daughter of death herself, vying for his position. Ha! Let's see who conquers the throne of skulls in the aftermath, woman. I, I, didn't, I didn't like how he said that. I didn't like that. Uh, yep. Shurikens again. Pick up Strat more often. Yeah. Couple more goodies. Ignoring garment of Streetwise. Passive experience gain per second. Ooh. I don't even have anything equipped on the torso. Look at this. More reroll dice and alteration die. 10% more adept offers. I think that's the one that we already had before, isn't it? Yeah, so. Man, this is going pretty good. Let's keep it up. Bear, you just smited the Baron's left and right hand. How is he supposed to wipe now? 
is a unique concern, but I, I appreciate you having it. Truly empathetic. It might be one of those, like, first-time sentences, too, like something that no one else has ever said before. So, well done on that. Gain attack speed for each ruptured enemy. Your attack shoots more projectiles than knockback enemies. Nah, we'll do this. <laughs> he just uses his middle hand. It's very good. This definitely feels like the strongest we've been up to this point. Streetwise belt. More passive experience gain, which actually seems pretty good. Although you can see the meter moving so very, very slowly from the one item of that variety that we have equipped, so. I mean, if it moves twice as fast, then clearly that's going to be pretty significant, but. Two snails is still pretty slow, even when compared to one. Chains of War at the expert level. Sure. I do think that was making a pretty big difference for us last time. Heals. Excellent. Wow, that damage. Oh my god. This is, uh... This is going my way this time, dude. Yeah, I'm loving the two nerf. Let's go get the gold. Yeah, I do need it. All right, these guys are back. This is why we want movement speed, so we can get the hell away from them quickly enough. Although, of course, going to need to mostly dash away anyway. Collecting Gauntlet of Magnetism. I have, I have my suspicions about what that's going to do. Oh, hello. Uh, we got a chest here. Hold on, I have to grab that. Magnetic gauntlets again. The fire is actually really predictable. Um, it only ever does one thing. Hilarious. Same as our summer here. Always looking out for you mortals. Hmm. I'll attack faster. Yeah. I think that'll be quite good. Chains of War upgrade. Yeah, let's do it. Big ass chains. I've been super tempted to uh, pick up all the gray items, but can't help but feel like it'll be better for me to get everything I can grab. Curse you, Grave Digger. Maybe it is bad. Oh, yeah, no, I have a full inventory. That'd be a reason not to do it. I think we're gonna have to drop some sh some stuff. Uh, let's drop that, and then this guy? Sure. Let's keep some slots open, actually. Where are we gonna need them? Damage is looking good. I'm gonna keep going down. It just feels right. A whole bunch of fallen heroes. Yeah, I was feeling the same way, London. Uh, upgrade the meteor shower, sure. Let's do it. More projectiles. Never not good. Oh, that one hurt. Yeah, they start to hit pretty hard up in here, don't they? So we're not quite to the healing threshold yet. Yeah, you can see, though, when we actually focus on, like, killing enemies and trying to gather the experience. Levels up pretty quickly. Go ahead and grab one more here and then move on.
war pact at expert level. Let's do blades, yeah. All right, we are building something pretty strong here. It'd be cool to fall in heroes or in places you previously died. I mean, it could be for all I know, although there's been a few more corpses than I would have expected by this point. All right, we might very well see the need for our uh, healing dash here. The slimes are less terrifying now, but still kind of concerning. I don't really know how I healed before. I don't know how I got up to 47 just now. There we go. <laughs> Creating your own path now, too. Speak not to me of the fates, meddlesome little rascals. More blades. This build feels real nice. Them slimes ain't even getting close. Oh, I must have picked up a heart when I was healing before. Your attack hits have a chance to spawn phantoms. Any enemies that pa they pass through become cursed and lose a percentage of their current life. Sounds like fun. An amulet of crux. All right, that's all taken care of. go over we go now we stop it the fates figures observe you as if alive they already know your choice here neither of them will get offended or anything right i want re-rolls i want a re-roll okay i believe we have met the healing threshold now so we can see how quickly that's working and it's pretty damn good that's nice, okay. Oh, uh, you choose. I just measure. Hey, Death. Sorry to let you know this this way, but you're gonna have to die, friend. It's just how it is. Additional spell duration, cool. Uh, additional spell area. Let's do attack area just to see if that just to see if that noticeably increases the size of the fireballs, which I don't think it did. Oh boy, Necromancer's back, okay. Not killing him nearly as quickly as we were killing the two uh, Baron hands. What do we got? Uh, I still haven't taken knockback. I don't think that's really going to matter too much for us. So I think we have like a bonus to damage when we have serrated enemies. Try to take advantage of that. I'm just draining his ass. Getting them plasma cords on him. Chop him up! How do you actually use rerolls? I think it's only in certain interactions that you even get the option to do it. Like I'm assuming on the next level up, we'll probably have a reroll die. Ooh, hello. Oh, we're gonna have to drop something here. Hang on. Magical amulet of crux is additional spell damage. I don't think I necessarily need that. I definitely don't need the learner's ring, but we'll check what these are. Plus 16 evasion, plus 40 movement speed, and plus 5% dash range. Yup. Yup. We could probably drop those now. Too bad it's too 
pairs of shoes. Which are effectively the same, yeah. Oh well. Owie. Oops. Oh, here they are. Yeah, you can see we got the uh, I wonder uh, alteration. I'm assuming is just gonna. Oh, it's the same as a reroll, or is reroll just on one? Nope. Huh. All right. Master knockback. Sure. Fuck it. That's probably good. All right, so the healing only goes up to 18, which is better than, lower than 18, I guess. Uh, upgraded blades again, sure. Yeah, there's a stash in the hub, but I don't think we can access it from the field, right? Powerful scimitar of expansion. I gotta grab that, hold on. Oh, I can't even use it. Man. I'm gonna drop that thing. I don't think I need that. Oh, I finally got the uh, Defeat the Necromancer achievement. Man, that lifesteal is fast, though. Okay. It may not get us up to a very high amount of HP, but it works quickly. That's nice. Holy shit. Yeah, that is very quick. All right. More max health, of course, is gonna mean that the uh, threshold goes up a little bit. 20 armor. Yeah. That, that seems really good. 19% damage reduction now. Nice. Okay. Who's cracking up with cold ones out here, dude? I'm getting toasty. Uh, let's do combust. We kill a number of burning enemies. In the Actually, let's reroll this. I feel like I could do better. Burning enemies leave a fire where they die. Yes. Whoa! Oh my god. Okay. Burst damage is very clearly something we need to be concerned about. Because that was just like boom, boom, you're gone. Boy, okay. It is easy to go down. Lifelink did a ton of damage that time. Oh, another new character. Cool. The assassin. Oh boy. I'm gonna go ahead and gear her up a little bit real quickly. Why not? I mean, I can't honestly say that I've read dialogue like this in any other game, so you gotta hand it to him. Who TF are you? I'm Maris. I meant, what are you doing here? Well, if you insist on knowing, you're gonna have to stay a while and listen. Just kidding. I ain't got nothing to say to you. The sign of time space. I gotta talk to him? Hi, Averon. Yeah, some serious zoomer energy. What you got? More skill level up offers? That's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't think we need any of that. I will take the vigorous garment of elusiveness. And a lot more life and evasion. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can sell stuff. Let's get rid of these. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And that. And that. There we go. Cool. You can swap characters on the top left of the inventory screen. You sure can. Look at that. Cool. This is better than that. Okay. Yeah, 
think we're good. Let's try the assassin. See how this goes. You got a hood in your inventory as well. Apparently can't equip that though. Oh, it's time locked. Huh. So I think I could have equipped it, but I didn't do it in or didn't do it before we deployed. Powerful dagger of alacrity, sure. A little more attack damage. Can't equip gear from outside on the inside. Okay, okay. Let's see what her level up looks like here. The everlasting thrill of battle. Yes. Ah, the life you're living, mortal. Hmm. Attacks are stronger. Knockback. Chains of war again. Yeah, we'll take that. I guess. Well, I don't know if I want knockback necessarily. The chains. Hey, idiots. Game has been fun so far. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna be squishy. Even more attack damage early on. We're gonna bunch them all up here. Although, honestly, I'm just gonna tear them through a lot of them. Why not just murder everything along your way? Now I'm all about just going straight for the goods. Especially when it can potentially make the uh, likelihood of finding more stuff higher. Even like getting more experience, possibly. Legong, God of Lightning, at your service. Dude's hot. Strange. This opening usually shocks mortals at least a little. Some have beat me to it, right? Unbefitting of a god to be unpunctual, especially one such as myself. Never mind, that's quite like me, actually. No one can predict a lightning bolt. Your attacks become stronger and have a chance to trigger an additional attack. Lightning orbs spawn on the battlefield that explode after a limited duration or immediately after you attack them. You move faster. I do like that. It's simple, it's effective, I'll take it. I do like being speedy. I'm assuming the move speed affects your movement as you're attacking as well. The Reaper does not listen to the harvest, so maybe it's high time he started. Never been a good listener. Resolve curse status immediately. Shoot out sickles or spawn phantoms. Do some sickles. I feel like I need some additional projectiles. Not to mention, I feel like the sickles in the chain are already dealing insane damage. The fucking living man. Oh my god. I don't know. I, I go back and forth on whether or not I like the writing style because it does get me every now and then. I really liked when the skeleton called me a prick earlier. That was that was fun. So maybe I'm for it. Maybe I'm changing my opinion on that one too. You best stop coming. I don't wanna. It's so fun. You don't like playing with me? Ah, uh, the additional attack again. Your attacks have, have a chance to cause a chain lightning. Yes. One of those things that's almost always excellent. Movement speed doubles? Or the bonus, anyway, from the movement speed increase doubles. It definitely feels like my movement speed is increased while I'm attacking as well, so that's pretty sick. Yeah, we are uh, kind of flying now, actually. Bloodlust, nice. More pickups. You feel unimpeded. Still not 100% sure what this does. 
If you have ball lightning, go see a doctor right away. I got a serious case of testicle tempest. Plus 20 move speed. I'm so speedy. Me. Yeah, dude. Good old thunder nuts. That's good. Nah, not the same guy sound, but clearly inspired by, as you can see. Good old NATO nads. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. You feel no harm can befall you. A good omen as well. Nice. Oh my god, that chain lightning. That must scale off of our attack damage, too, because that's, like, just as strong as the, uh... As the chain whip. My god. Oh, it's so exciting. Hmm, your evasion is increased? I like that idea. We're a little bit glass cannon here, after all, so... Help us stay alive a little bit, maybe. This is bad. No, no, never mind. We're good. It's just the initial swarm got me. Yeah, movement speed is really helpful here. It's gonna be pretty damn good against the blue slimes later, too. I kind of like the assassin. I don't know if I necessarily like it because it's good or because we've just gotten really good upgrades to begin with. But the attack damage is uh, pretty impressive so far. All right, up this way. You get attack speed for each retro enemy. Your attacks become stronger and knock back. I think the bloodlust is pretty damn good. That thing, I, I we gotta get the upgrade for that too. I feel like increased frequency of the chain lighting is gonna be really good. Owie. Okay, I think she's pretty fragile. I'm pretty sure she just took like a 20 damage hit. And we're very early on, so that's not great. Additional spell area, cool. Yeah, the different classes have different boons actually. I might not have even equipped the boon for her, I forgot. I think I was supposed to do that prior to entering the ocean again. Additional pickups. Ooh. Um. Laugh back. Let's try it. I'm very glad there was a sound effect for it. Chance at more master offers, sure. Man, I really like the movement speed. And just ignore everything, just go find things. Well, I am like right on the cusp of a level, aren't I? Oh, here they go. This is mostly what I was curious to see uh, if we'd be able to outrun. I feel like I'm just going back up toward where we had already gotten items to. There's more luck. There we go. Oh, yeah, we need that. We need more rupturing. Whatever the hell that does. More attack damage yet again. I feel like we can pretty easily outrun those speedy guys, so that's nice. All right, Baron's left and right hand. Let's see how we're doing on the attack damage for these dudes. We can outrun the dash attack from these two. Oh my God, that's amazing. That feels really good. Oh, only if we're uh, fully mobile, apparently. I'm not 100% sure how I'm being slowed down. All right, so keep the dash up, I guess. I don't want to die here. 
nearly down. I'm not sure if it's the blue or the red, though. It's the blue. Okay, let's kill him. If I can. There we go. Nice. Okay, the damage is not as good as I wanted it to be here. That would be a little bit better off. Ooh, yeah, maybe the charge. Maybe we do need some knockback after all. Co collecting Ring of Learning. More adept offers and more pickup drops. Yeah, we'll take that. Certainly an upgrade. Who's the Baron? We've yet to find out. But given that we struggle to take on his left and right hand, I'm assuming it's not going to go very well for us once we find him. Enemies you hit shoot out rupturing shurikens, or is that... I don't think we already got that, did we? He can still kick you. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I'm sure he's going to be plenty capable still. Unlike me, who's maybe just going to die very early here. The range on the assassin's attack I'm finding is like a serious limitation. As strong as she is. More evasion? Yeah, sure. Lowered enemy stun thresholds, more skill level up offers. That's kind of odd. All right, just never get hit is the new MO. Just don't ever take damage. It's easy, bear. Also, go find some healing. Hey, there we go. Well, well, well. <laughs> the side up. They do actually talk shit about the pickups. That's pretty great. Snag that. Nice. Still got to be really careful in here. Okay, we can outrun these guys. Our damage against them is pretty fantastic. Magnetic gauntlets, probably don't need those. Owie, why you gotta smash? Why you gotta hurt the poor bear? Oh, yeah, that one got me quick. Those attacks are fast, dude. Okay, maybe I'm not a huge fan of the assassin. I don't know if I like that very short range, very fragile character. You think we can beat death? I can, you I doubt. Yeah, she's starting to make me like her less just based on her personality too. Let's go let's go play uh, another night run maybe. That sounds right. Averon. Tasri. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome on back in. Big old bear hooks for him, please. Appreciate you. What's this ring look like? More adept offers. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you for the resubscription. Welcome back in. More experience gains probably better than my belt. Yeah. And we'll just sell that. Sell this. Sell that. Sell this. Sell that. Right? Yeah. Cool. All right, here we go. You play Maris a lot. That's the, uh, is that the spellcaster? The fireball lady? I feel like she'll probably be my favorite, but I wanted to give the knight another go here. Nice. Knights. What is, does anyone know what that does? Just straight up ask. A little symbol. I have important four percent spell damage. No downside, I guess. Fourteen percent attack speed. Cool. Press Y. Oh, no attack movement penalty. That's what that does. Cool. Thank you. That's pretty good. 
still stuck in that graveyard. Shut up, Legong. Just because you're hot as shit, you think you can talk shit to me? You think you think you're so smart? Oh, wrathful strike, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty into this soundtrack, man. This is doing it for me. Yeah, that does suggest that you can get out of the graveyard too, doesn't it? Okay, this one does not tell me what it does. Plus 10% heals, cool. Maybe I should try to just go one direction. Maybe I should heal my boy Zane. I don't think there's any collectibles to pick up, otherwise this would probably have gotten them. You're on fire. I know. Breath of fire. Yep. Yep. Yeah, let's just go down right. A little southeast action. See where this takes me? Uh, more attack damage. A squishy, squishy boy. So I really firmly believe that it's not just aimless wandering and that there is somewhere it Greetings wants me to go. You, champion. Hello. I am the Arbiter of Justice. It is a pleasure to finally meet. Death has wronged both your kind and mine, and for this, he must face the law. Will you help me carry out the sentence? I mean, I'm kind of busy. Your dash gives you reduced attack movement penalty for a limited duration. That's pretty good. Wait, does that add additional dash charges? No, okay. That is nice, though. Let's see what that amulet does. Heal on level up. I will take it. Slight upgrade. All right, so we're clearly dealing again with a uh, group aware of the existence of the time loop or whatever it is that's bringing us back repeatedly. You regenerate life every second. Yep. That's the one. That's the upgrade I would like. Thank you. I'm gonna get one more level and then keep going southeast. Right after I get that item, or whatever it is. The God of Lightning acts on impulse, much like summer. Their actions often lead back to death. <laughs> That's funny, Pug. Regenerate even more life. Yep. I don't know, that might not have actually been all that great, but... I'll take it. The Lusty or Candyman. This is just lore. This is just... This is just Lusty Argonian made as a joke. Okay. Ooh, I wonder if that increases my regen. It should. Oh, I already love regen. Holy shit. It's my favorite. Oh man, I really like getting my health back without having to do anything. That feels really, really good. Not the best item by the looks of it. Thanks for saving me the trouble, bud. That's like genuinely a good mechanic too. For them to make barks about the quality of the items they drop. What's the difference between the character's basic attack excluded? I believe there are statistical differences. That's pretty much it as far as I can tell. The primary attack is really the only major differentiating factor, right? Hero, please let me out of this prison. It's going to teleport again any second now. Cool. 
Apparently that moves around the map. That's weird. Oh, right. The, uh, the equipment that they can wear is also different. Like the knight is able to wear heavy gear, for example. They diss it if it's not useful to their class. Oh, yeah, that makes even more sense. Um, let's go with the might. Yeah, your attack hits in a wider area is pretty good. Should still try to avoid damage, but the fact that we have regen now, I just... We're never gonna die, is what that means. I have become immortal. Now I just need move speed so I can run away like a coward. I'm all grown up, man. Remember when these green slimes did me in? The problem with the law is they that it's ain't heartless. nothing no more. I faced justice before for my actions, and I do it again. Hmm. Flare again, yeah. It's a very nice defensive option. It's already helping quite a bit. Sweet. Snag this, keep going bottom right. Yeah, that's a really nice upgrade. Now that I'm aware of what it does. What's a POI point of interest? Or a uh, person of interest, or uh, poop in intestines. Poop on intestines, ew. That's not where that goes. What's a POO? A uh, person of Ottawa. Prior obligation office. Um, poorly obscured ox. Prince Oddward's Island, very good. That was my favorite video game series, Prince Oddward. Another uh, noteworthy moment here. We're actually able to just run the frick away from these dudes, so that's cool. I keep going, just getting the stone of collecting when there's nothing to collect. Move faster. That is what I wanted. Why the rush to join us, mortal? It just looks so much fun down here with you guys. I wanna play. Why does the damage feel so much better already on this run? I thought the assassin had a lot. Knight is crushing it, dude. Hell yeah. Hmm. So would you say you find my blessings better or worse than those of summer? I have to know how the competition's doing out here. Help a god out. Even faster now? Magnetic gauntlets of ignoring. An alteration dice. Nah, I'm good. Ah, cool. Man, this feels great. Take a meteor shower, sure. I'm feeling kind of dirty. Spell damage up? Sure. Let's just take the base level of everything. Why not? More experience gain. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, we'll take it. You take a meteor shower in the morning or before bed. I'm a morning meteor shower, man. 
My brother was a nighttime shower showerer. Probably still is. I can never really get into that. Cause my, I'm, I'm not I'm not under any illusions that my bed is a clean place. That shit, that shit's probably pretty nasty, dude. Even if you shower before you go to sleep and you wake up, you're feeling kind of kind of gross, right? Feeling a little groggy. You got that morning goop in your eyes, and it's nice to shower it out and get clean. Ow, chow, okay, chill. Hey, dude. Mm, I think laughing back is not necessarily the play. Take the additional damage on healthy enemies. What happens to y'all in your sleep? You don't shit your pants every night? Wake up covered in doo-doo? What, just me? Oh, I'm the freak then, all right. No pants to shit, checkmate. Well, look at this guy using his noodle. Mm hmm. Yeah. Burning them up. Actually, shit bears pants at night in my sleep too. Well, that explains the abundance of shit. Just to be clear, yes, I am being disgusting today. I'm sorry. Can't help it. Gain? Whoa. Lose a little bit of life regeneration, but heal one life whenever you hit enemies. Unkillable? Like, I still have a little bit of regen, too. I think. Right? No. Oh, I'm continuously losing life. You doing all right there, That's mortal? That's probably I fine. I think you could really use some of my godly aid. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I would. Oh my god. Super fast. Super speedy. What if enemies stop spawning? For some reason, I don't think we have to worry about that. This guy is tanky as shit. Expert haste. Double damage? Oh, that's temporary. Okay, I was like, what the fuck? Gotta find that thing more often. It's so funny to me that those guys just absolutely sound like somebody cracked open a soda and into the boom mic. The ghost is crying. Ghost matters. Of course ghost matters. Those 36% more adept offers, if that's going to be the benefit, of course I'll tell you you matter. I'll lie to you. If it benefits me. I imagine there's probably some sort of effect from that that I may... Or that may make me regret choosing to tell the ghost that it mattered. Maybe that'll inspire him to attempt to defeat me later. Who knows? Get the heck out of here. I kind of want to get into the thick of it for a second just to see how effective our healing is going to be. You restore more life from heals. Ooh, more regen. If we get enough regen, then we wouldn't have to worry about the uh, negative effect at all. That basically negated it. Holy shit. We're losing 0.1 life per second, which literally might not matter. That might not even actually be doing anything. Of course, one more level of that, and then we have the regen on top of the lifesteal. 
which seems good to me. Name 23. Whole bunch of bear hugs for him. Please welcome back into the pile. Appreciate it. We should get a whole bunch of experience right now with that benefit. Give him some bear hugs, please. Ooh, great timing. Great timing for bonus XP. I mean, kill a number of burning enemies and explosion damages and knocks back nearby enemies. Yep. That's a pretty good idea right now. All right, so here is our uh, our healing in full effect. And we're going to need it. Ooh, even more experience. Holy shit. We are leveling up like crazy. It is not for death to decide when to take a life. For breaking his sure? duty towards the living, he must face retribution. I feel like that's his only job. More regen! Let's go! No longer losing any HP, in fact, gaining it. Oh my god. Okay, so these guys still unfortunately are uh, quite capable of killing me. I'll try to stay at max HP whenever possible here. had one job, Death, or at least we thought you did. A couple of Chivos. The stormy weather outside is just splendid today. Not to brag. Shame you're stuck in here. Well, let me help you zap out of it. That's a good voice actor. When you traverse a certain distance, lightning bolts fall onto nearby enemies. Sure. Seems good. Okay, back to our southeast plan right after I uh, go activate this chest. Okay, yeah, these are the guys that hurt a little bit. Got the champion boy here too, okay. Gain one revival? Oh my god, yay. I wanted more regen, but yeah, that's absolutely what I should take from that. Holy shit. These guys are very fast with their attack. Oh, fuck. Okay. Here we go. I need to try to regen here. I'm going to get to collect some more orbs. That's nice. This dude's finally going down in a sec. There we go. And then level it up. Your spell speeds and cooldowns are faster. You, your attack has a chance to cause chain lightning at an expert level already. Yep. And there's the necromancer again. All right. Here we go. We got a freaking revive on this run, man. This is this is feeling really good here. And just gotta figure out where the hell the necromancer is. Seems to be my biggest obstacle with fighting this dude is losing track of him. I guess my damage isn't all that great here either. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that again, yeah. Two more chain bounces from that already is outstanding. I like that it automatically activates after you upgrade it too. Helps to see the visualization of the upgrade. This guy is taking a beating. Oh my god. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. There you go. Oh, yeah, nice. More real good stuff. Uh, let's go with the Meteor... Uh, projectile count, and then let's see what these are. 16 armor, 420 shard pull area. Sure. And armor is going to be really good. And then 23 life, more experience gain, and banish dice. I don't even have a runestone equipped. Oh my god, that's really good. Huge upgrade. Alright, let's do it. 
test virtues, or it's just a dumb bird. You're deemed virtuous. That's good. I was wondering. Did that give me an HP increase? I think it might have. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Nothing from the grave. You know, I'm gonna go get all that experience we're leaving behind real fast, actually. Uh, let's see. When an enemy damages you, you heal back a percentage of the damage you were dealt and deal the enemy's damage back to it, multiplied before reductions. Okay. Sure. I'm gonna just pretend to fully understand what that means, but I'm pretty sure that's good. Bijou, bijou! Thank you very much. Welcome on back. Welcome to the pile, I should say, I think. Appreciate the subscription. Give them some bear hugs, please. Those are some big failures. Yeah, I think I might be immortal. But that's the thing I say before I die. Almost always. Um, let's re-roll this. Flare. Breath of fire. More area. Sounds good. Lots of these big boys. Holy shit. Yeah, no, I definitely feel like I can still die. It's just going to be like a series of big hits is going to have to do it. This is definitely the most healing I've ever had in a run, which feels amazing. Not normally nearly this survivable. This vampire survivable. Full one point of regen per second. Sure. Which puts us now at point two. Probably not really very significant at all, but why not? Man, it's all these like reaction things like the chain lightning, the the flare, the lightning strikes. That's where the majority of our success has come from with this one. Of course, the regen and the lifesteal. I'm a little worried here. Don't love this situation. We are thinning the herd pretty quickly. I see upon you the blessings of summer. When you face death, do not let fervor force your hand into revenge. Being impartial is a virtue. Yeah, it definitely feels like I could use some more damage. Then again, more regen. If it wants to keep giving me regen, I'll take regen, dude. It's going to put us at point six, which is becoming pretty significant again all of a sudden. Flip the script on that one, huh? Oh boy, all right. Let's maybe try to take out these range boys first. Get the dudes in the back. Very nice. Oh, God. Yeah, that was a large chunk of HP very quickly. I can't... It, it's my favorite thing to do in these games, or really in any game at all, is just spread the damage all across all the enemies. Boy, I am feeling, like, really healthy here. Which is shocking. Breath of Fire area increase. Yes, please. Yeah, I feel like just straight up damage is probably where we should focus here. If we get the opportunity anyway. Speaking of enemies ceasing to spawn. Didn't actually think that would be... Oh, okay, yep. <laughs> that was so perfectly timed. Holy shit. 
Surprise, yeah! Here they are. Holy hell, dude. That is insanity. There's a skeleton of enemies. hey -o. This is honestly pretty good for me, I think, though. This is... Absolutely doable. Death by a thousand cuts. Yeah, I feel like we're healing a lot more quickly than they can actually deal damage. Yeah, that was helpful. That was just a whole bunch of experience, dude. This dude is way too fast. Slow down. Get the hell over here. Dracula, Baron of the Outer Circle. Victory shall remain beyond thee. Okay. I still need to kill your little skeleton archer friend, though. That hurt a lot. I need to I need to heal. That, that was painful. Fuck. Alright, he's finally down. Where did all my speed go? I feel like I'm so much slower all of a sudden, man. What the hell? That was a revive. Okay, that's not great. I should probably actually try to deal damage to Drag. This is uh, not going well at all. Holy shit. He stepped on some gum. Yeah, something's slowing me down big time, dude. It's a big claw hit. He has got a ton of hit points and oh man, yeah, he is messing me up, dude. So much for our unkillable run. Am I not regenerating hit points from those guys? Is that what's going on? Oh, what the fuck? That dude's just gonna chase you around, apparently. Okay. God damn, dude! Alright. That's where that wraps up. Sheesh, okay, that is gonna be a... Uh a big wall to have to climb over. Dang. Hit the 20 minute mark on that, which is, I assume, what summons Drac. Even with a pretty good build, that was, uh, that's looking like it's going to be pretty rough to do. All right. Well, good start, man. Ooh, and a new class unlocked. Kront the Barbarian. He's already my favorite. There you go, buddy. Who are you? I'm a knight of the Order of Penance, Barbarian. Penance? I pass, Metal Man. I go kill death. Wait, you'll only find your own death in there. Allow me to explain what's going on. Library unlocked. And skeleton trophy. And ooze trophy. And the sign of the hero. And the sign of the chosen one. Oh, that's what Scrivener's is. Okay, achievements. Hi there. Your efforts to gather books from the underworld haven't gone unnoticed. These books don't mean much to me, but perhaps they'll brighten your time here. So here's a small gift from me, your own library, to keep them. I'm a goddamn barbarian. You think I like books? What's the matter with you? All right, I was gonna wrap up here, but they gave me a new character, so I have to try that first. Let's see. Magnetic tortoise shell of vigor. Sure. More expert offers, more master offers. Yes, please. Got a belt for the evasion and the life. And that'll do it. Sweet. Krant does not have a perk. Gotta do the sign achievements to unlock those. You come to kill death, why? What do you mean, isn't it obvious? What isn't? 
Who doesn't want to kill death? Ah, the thrill of conquest. This I can understand. But I can't understand where you use letters to represent words. That's, I mean, that is usually what letters are for. Bear. Oh, spin to win? Spin to win? Hell yeah. All right, we're going to go north this time. Really mix things up. The best offense is a good defense, champion. Yeah, you would say that, defense lady. Your attacks become stronger and apply weakened. I like that. A little extra spell area, sure. A little extra spin area, more like. Or, I wish, anyway. There's a lot of damage right away, though. I'm already missing my old build. I'm feeling like I absolutely want to get back to this uh, fireball lady soon as well. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure she's going to be the one for me. Kill 25 enemies with a single strike with Krant. I don't think I just did that, but I'm going to go ahead and take it. I wonder. You know what Lady Justice did to Summer? I've only heard the legends. I wasn't around back then, but I wouldn't trust her. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do execution again. More XP, baby. Yeah, I can't, I can't help but feel like that wasn't 25 at once with that attack, but if they say so. Ooh, what's that? Ah, just a little haste for a minute? Okay, cool. That's neat. There is no justice on the battlefield. Only in the courts. And even then, usually not. Chains of war. Ooh, damn. Good loot, he says. More level up offers. Uh. Nah, bro. I'm gonna go with a nah, dog. Yoink. Yoink. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, take advantage. We have a quick level up possibly here. I don't know if we're actually using an amulet yet. Let's find out. We are not. Sweet. We're spell damage. Beautiful. Uh, increase the damage, yes. Now let's get armor. Another one of those things that can't possibly be bad. Double the armor. Sure. All right, much tankier now. As you might suspect for this character. Yeah, they do like two damage, oh my God. That's pretty good. I just gotta get that regen back. More luck, sure. Spell area. Jumper. What? Huh? Oh, additional dash. Cool. Okay. Thought maybe we'd unlock the ability to access the vertical plane. What up a whole new freaking realm. I'm just gonna stand here and spin. I'm just gonna stand here and spin around for a minute. There we go. Yeah, chains feel very appropriate for this guy, too. Just spinning around all damn day. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If you walk in and get hurt, it's your own fault. I'm just going to be spinning here. I'm just going to be whirling these giant metal chains around, and it's not my fault if you enter the zone. 
my zone of control. Instantaneous Lucky Stone of Exile. 26.4% damage striking undamaged enemies. Cool. That's really good. Thank you. Oh, there's Slime Boys again. Okay. These boys with their barrier. Maybe I did undervalue that. All right. See how this goes. Ooh, the blades. Yes. That'll be really good here. You gotta remember there's no regen, no heals, so just never get hit. Okay. Oh, some heals. Every now and then there's a heal. Oh, those are the weak shards, aren't they? Oh my god, we got a bunch of the bonus experience from this. Hell yeah, dude. More armor? There's regen. Yeah, let's do it. Love me some regen. Now we're talking, dude. All right, Barb. Oh, I was going north, wasn't I? I'll keep doing that in a second here. Oh, more pickups. Nice. Got a crown boy there. Let's see what this does. Even more pickups. Nice. Gotta keep getting the POIs, dude. Can't ignore it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hey, worse. Welcome back. I'm glad you've become undead. We're hoping to defeat death ourselves. Lifelink again? Sure. The damage from that is pretty substantial, so. Even minus the healing effect. It's worthwhile. More attack damage. Sick. Oh, yeah. This is working. Do, 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 do. Reminds you of home. All right. Back. Back to our northern route. See what this yields. Exiling sphere of instant striking. Additional damage and undamaged enemies. Slightly worse than what we've got already, so no no good. What's that? The stone pulses with dark energy. Lose max life, gain 33% attack damage. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I'll take that. That seems worth. The lifesteal dash, I think might be like, ridiculously good. The damage from that alone seems outrageous. Although it does seem like it's a little more, uh, or kept a little bit better in check in this fight. Let's see here. There's the barrier damage again, but now I think we're going to take the blade count. Another blade. Curious to see if I can just chill here. See what kind of damage they're dealing. That's a lot. Probably shouldn't just sit there and let them shred my face. I just wanted to see. Sweet. Hmm. There's the consecration again. Let's go with reprisal. Whenever an enemy starts attacking you, there's a chance your attacker becomes smited. 
Oh, and then we also have this. Additional spell damage and banish dice, which is upgrading that. That smited sound is fun. The daughter bears no guilt for the sins of her father. Taking Mort's gifts was wise, hero. I felt pretty smart when I did it. Even more armor, oh my god. That's like a massive increase, too. A specialist straw hat. Ooh, this is a significant upgrade here, too. Even more master chance. Yay. Okay, now we're going to drop that. Probably drop that. Probably drop that. There we go. Sick, dude. Hmm, lifelink upgrade? Another drain link, which is pretty damn good. Yeah, I think I'll take that. I've made the mistake of not getting enough damage a few times and it gets rough. Yeah, I feel like I need to try to focus on that a little more this time around, especially with how little damage we were dealing to uh, Dracula. Need to beef up a bit. Yeah, you can see it again here, too. I feel like it's pretty clear with this guy that I'm not hitting very hard. Well, okay. Yeah, this feels uh, quite a bit weaker, actually, than our previous night build. With the lifesteal beams accounting for quite a bit of the damage yet again. Regen. Let's do that. Since we don't have the negative effect here, we can get a lot more. Oh, did I start going south again? God damn it. God damn it, bear. Ooh, a book. The Necronomicon writhes as if it's an agony trying to break free from its shackles. Hmm. Let's go with the spell duration. Become stunned for one and a half seconds. That was pretty easy. No worries there. Okay. Huh. I think we'll keep that heal just in case. Oh boy, yeah, this is... Not enough damage, man. So let's get some more. Although, oh, plus 20 armor. What is this? 40% damage reduction. Holy shit. I might not be hitting very hard, but they ain't hitting very hard either, man. I am tanky as hell. Shurikens again? Yeah. I promise I'll start taking damage. I just couldn't get over the idea of having that much armor. Uh, let's go with... Ooh, there we go. Attack speed for each ruptured enemy. Which the blades are helping us with as well. More pickups. Sick ups. I, come on. Bear. You have more than one mode, buddy? Are you just constantly operating on the same set of gears? Yes, of course. Ah, oh, well, in that case, carry on. Feels so holy. so sanctified. I was even just going to say well, well, well again, really, to just reinforce the notion, I guess. Sanctified. Ooh. Yeah, that's because of the shit in my pants conversation from before, isn't it? Yeah, I earned that. Deserved. Deserved. 
Thanks for all the experience, guys. War never changes. Yeah, I've read the book. Slash played Fallout. I haven't actually read the book. I don't think it's even from a book. Goes to show what I knows. Nothing. Got more luck, nice, which I think is also doing pretty good. Hey, okay, well, I mean, yeah, that's something. Another one? Oh, yeah, nice. I'll take it. Hey, slime time. Spin to win. Got to be pretty damn effective at dealing with these guys, huh? Oh, yeah, we are looking pretty good. Swan! Test your virtues. Your heart is corrupt. Why? No, it's not. More armor. <laughs> it's going to be 43% uh, damage reduction. This is pretty good. Pretty damn good. Big Beyblade energy, yeah, for sure. Let it rip! Oh yeah, I forgot I can do that. I really needed it. <laughs> You're so mysterious. Evasion? Hmm. I'll try again. Chains of War. Oh, Alteration chooses from a different pool of items. I just realized that. I see, I see, I see. I might have actually wanted to go with the evasion there. Oh, well. Drain them! What did I get? What did I get? Nothing good. Oh, well. Stop it. Okay, now I'll take the CE. Eventually, I was going to do it. Although, I definitely still wanted to take the armor there. Just wanted to see how much we could get. Hello. It's just big flying lizards. Game plus 20 movement speed, please. I got to get moving, dude. Drain them. Oh, nice. Your attack hits in a wider area. Yeah. Have a good day. That is a uh, sharp contrast when he paused the game. <laughs> All right, we're uh, on 14 minutes here. So in comes the Necromancer. Still definitely need to find a lot more damage so we can maybe have a chance at the uh, Drac fight here. Prevent the next time you would take damage. The cooldown of this blessing is reduced by your damage resistance instead of cooldown reductions. Meaning armor? Meaning, oh my God. I think, I hope, that'd be pretty sick. That'd be a synergy. Oh my god, the damage is pathetic, though. I don't know how much the Divine Shield is actually going to matter, but any further defensive measures are good in my book. We're great at dealing with, like, hordes of enemies, but one-on-one -on -one here we are struggling quite a bit. Not to mention, I'm pretty low right now, too. But we have the recharge from the, uh, from the dash getting us above very low amounts, but that's not working as well as I thought it would. Jesus. That is 
Not fantastic. Where'd you go, buddy? He just loves to disappear. Oh my god, what the fuck? That should be more attack speed at least, but Jesus. He does not want to go down. Come on, man. More shurikens, sure. More projectiles. Please, God, just die. I need your purples. There we go. More armor. No, stronger attack. There we go. Finally learning. Ignoring Coral of Luck. Yes. Plus 15%. Oh my God. That'll help. And then what do we, uh, what do we got? Where's the other perp? Ah, uh, must be something I can't use. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, well. Necromancer defeated. We got a little more damage. Let's keep going. That's for the sorceress lady. Okay, yeah, we'll probably try her again pretty soon. More luck as well. Nice. Luck is up there now, man. Yeah, plus 24%. Jeez. Drain them. And also get these dudes. A little more gold. Sick. we Stop. Stop it. Oh my god. This is becoming very concerning very quickly. Let's get up over here. That lifesteal dash is like the only thing keeping me alive right now, I think. Double axe of frost. That's got or a feast rather. That's got to be pretty good. Plus 25% attack damage. Oh my god, that was a massive increase. That is what we needed. That was the perfect thing to find. Chains of War, pretty significant uh, upgrade there. Increased to the duration as well, which is pretty nice. Yeah, having no weapons certainly wasn't helping there. Ignoring Coral of Summoning. Additional summon damage and more alteration dice. That's probably not going to be it. You're now cursed for your actions. That doesn't sound good. Is there a reflection of that in the list somewhere? Oh, fuck. Oh, we're boxed in with these guys now, huh? Okay. That's interesting. Oh, less luck. That's not so bad. It was only 2%. shows it on the right side. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, I see. We have a minus 5% luck from something, too, unfortunately. Oh, I got popped. Damn. Bummer. Yeah, I was feeling a little weak. Oh, well. Good try with the Barbarian. Back to entrance. Sweet. All right. This has been a good start here with Death Must Die. Thanks for watching, y'all. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you're watching over on YouTube.com slash Bear Taffy as well. We'll play some more of this for sure. I'm having a good time with it. So looking forward to more tomorrow. I'll see you then.